A girl who is sitting on the bed staring at the wall blankly. She has nothing to do, roam like a ghost in this whole mansion. No one is here except some guards and me. She look at the clock and say, I think today he went back. It's been one week he is not coming home. Should I call him? No need, he will again get angry. Why my life is so complicated? Everyone just want to ignore my presence. Sometimes I feel like to disappear. Let me introduce myself. Hello, I am Kim Wyan. No, Jeon Wyan. I am belong from Mafia family. I have an elder sister and an elder brother. Who are now ruling about me? I never interested in these things. You can say I am Navy. That's why I never got the love from my parents, which I deserve. For them being strong and powerful, what we need in our life. They always neglected me or say they behave like I don't even exist. Then they forced me to marry the Mafia King Jan Janggu when I was just 17. It's supposed to be my sister, but she already had boyfriend, so they forced me. How cruel, right? It's been one and a half year we are married. He's cold as ice. His dark aura always gave me shiver on my whole body. He never talk or say look at me. He also ignore my presence. Well, it's never hard, as I used to with this. Three months ago, something happened between us. One night, he come home drunk, and you know. But next day, he behaved like nothing happened. First time, it hurts me. It hurts when someone feels special for a moment, then the next second, behave like nothing. I noticed he started to behave more cold. He come home after I fall asleep. Then went to his office before I woke up. I expected he will come to hospital to know how I was after my operation, but he did not show his face. I think I started to expect too much. It's been one and a half year. We never had a good conversation. As I know, he don't like me. He like my sister, or still like. Time skin. At 2 a.m., the door opened revealing a drunk man who is barely able to stand. He looked at the sleeping figure and dragged himself near her before sitting on the floor, admiring her angelic face. He was smiling after saw her face. It's almost many days. Time skip next morning. I woke up after having a good sleep. I stretched my arms then my eyes landed on the dressing table and saw it's him who is busy fixing his watch. I rubbed my eyes not believing he is here. I want to hug him tightly saying how much I missed him but I can't. I snapped out when he cleared his throat. We have important meet with your mom dead in night so be no I want. As I know, they are going to discuss about the mafia things and insult me or confirm me with my own siblings. Oh, okay, I'm leaving. Come home safe. I just whisper and give a tight breath. Let's why. I don't know how long I will be able to control myself. It's getting too hard for me to pretend like I'm okay. I'm fine. As usual, you are staring at the wall blankly, drowning on your own thoughts. Suddenly, the vase which was near on his cup put it fell down for the wind. What now? He went near the cupboard, started to pick the shattered vase pieces. You cleaned it. When your eyes landed on his cupboard's door, it was half open. Then of something which is stuck. You are about to touch it but back off knowing he don't like someone touch his cupboard without his permission. That's why.
you both have different couples. Well, I am not stealing something from here. I am just... I opened a cupboard. It's a file which is stuck on it. I slowly removed the file and placed it on the top of his other files. About to leave when my eyes landed on his shirt. A strong perfume hit on my nostril. It's his perfume. I took the shirt and smelled it. It's remembered me about that night when he made love with me. Kiss me for the first time. I thought after that night we might be get close with each other, but nothing changed. Why I love him that much after knowing it's just a forced marriage? He never wanted to marry me, but our parents forced us. I never expected anything from this marriage, nor for him. But the stupid heart was for him. That night a little hope rise on my heart then vanished in next morning cause he did not remember anything as he was drunk. I placed the shirt on previous place but a file catch my attention. Wait, it's a report from that hospital where I did my appendix surgery. Why it's here? I took the file and saw it's my report. I'm confused after I saw the report from Ghana. Yes, I went to Ghana thinking I was. After two days, he said I'm not. He told me I have an appendix and I have to operate it as soon as possible. I asked him, is symptoms off, right? Doctor did not give me the proper answer. He said sometime it happened. I did not pay too much attention and agreed for the operation. I called mom that they were not interested in it. Cut the call saying, don't waste our time. Then I told Jungkook. He said, be careful. It was an unknown feeling. First time someone said be careful. I did not force him to come with me, knowing he can't, but expected he will come. What is this in this file? Curiosity took over me and I opened the file. After turning to three pages, my tears started to build in my eyes. What? Yes, divorce Ryan and Mary Jeon. But she have boyfriend, that's why she rejected me. Yes, but now they broke up and we know you don't love Ryan, you like Jeon. That's why you sent your parents to talk with us about your marriage. Jungkook looked at his parents who avoiding his eye contact. And most important thing, now my Jeon started to love you. She's regretting the decision not marrying you. Jungkook looked at Jiyoon who already staring at him with a white smile, but Jungkook just rolled his eyes and spoke, I won't. I am not divorcing why not marrying her, and let me clear you one thing, I never liked her. I never sent any marriage proposal to you. It was a misunderstanding. My mom that forced me for this marriage. In last moment, I get to know the bride had changed. I didn't even knew her name until I come to wedding altar. Then why you did not want to marry Ryan? I never knew you were that much dumb. What are you? Don't. Let me speak today. Did you forget what was Ryan's age when we get married? How much? Maybe 20? You look at her with an are you serious look. Well, I don't know anything about her. We never carry. Like, she don't even exist. Yeah, she is so weak and we don't like weak people. Sometimes it feels like she is just a mistake, nothing more than else. How can you say this? She is your own daughter. Unfortunately, yes. Well, I don't even care if she die. It's 
scary cat who don't even know how to protect herself. So she had it. Continue her dinner. They are Jungkook staring at them with a disbelief eyes. So Jungkook, are you going to divorce her or not? Look, she might be belong for mafia family, but she is not your standard. Look, June, she is a mafia queen and your eye. He shout, making everyone flinch, and he stood up from his seat. Don't you dare to say any bad words about my wine. Understand? Never. Shame on you, you greedy peoples. How can you easily say that you don't even care if she die? She is your daughter. That's why I never went to meet you. Never come here any occasion. Even today, she directly said no in my face. Now I am getting everything. Thank God she did not come here. Otherwise, she have to witness by her eyes that her own parents sent her husband to marry her elder sister. They go the saliva after saw his devil side. He never raised his voice, but today he literally shouting. And you mom there. Did I say I don't want to marry Wyan? She was just 17, almost 9 years younger than me. You all forced me. Now when I love her, you want me to divorce her? No, I won't. I'm not a toy. I'm a human. If you love her, then why you always avoid her, cold toward her? None of your business. No, it's my business. Cause she is too young for love. But I can't stop myself to fall for her. Love her more than anything that I did not think twice to kill our unborn baby. Yes, I did. I killed. Just to save my own life. She had a life race. As I said, she is too young. Did she allow you to stay with her? As I know, she hate people who kill innocents. And in this case, the baby was her. She don't know anything about it, and I will make sure that she never get to know. He took his blazer and made his way toward the entrance but stopped on his track when, What if I told her that you killed your baby? Then ready to visit my basement, I promise I won't show you any mercy. He did not look back and went out leaving everyone speechless and scared. Oh god, are they really her own parents? How can someone do this to their own daughter? That's why she never tried to catch my attention. Or, cause she used with these things. I also treated her like this, always ignore her. I have my own reasons but never thought I would leave her. First time I feel fear of losing her. She don't know anything. What if she left me after I get to know these things? I don't. His words cut off by his phone, he parked his car in the corner and received the calls. His eyes about to pop out after what he heard. What do you mean by why is not there? Samir come to your bedroom for give her medicines but ma'am was not there. But she thought she might be in washroom. She waited for some time. When ma'am did not come out, she went inside, found out ma'am is not there. She searched the whole mansion, then she told me, I went to a room, but what the hell you all are doing? It's almost 11 p.m. Where she went? And sir, your cupboard was open and some medical files are on ground. After he had it, he felt his soul left. From his body, did she? No, no. Look at the right side of our bed. Is the car keys are there? No, sir. Send the guards to find her, track her location, and inform me. If something happened to her, I will chop your heads. Please don't misunderstand me. God, please keep her safe. I don't know where I was going. Just want to run from them. No one loves me. Everyone hates me. I'm nothing for them. I look outside there have a sign which is showing I entered in another city. I saw some cars in the road. I can see clearly cause my version are blurry for my tears. I hurriedly pressed the back with full force when I realized it's blocking my way causing my head 
hit on the steering wheel. I look up, saw it seem, who is standing in front of the cars. I hurriedly reversed my car but again got blocked. From the back. Where are you going, love? I look at him who started to approach me. I can see his eyes are looking red. I quickly get out from the car and started to run, which was not a good idea. He caught me in a blink and pinned me on the car. I don't want you all around us, he said and the guard went away from there. I was looking down. I am scared, but feel him entangle me on his embrace, hugged me tightly. What do you think? What you were doing, huh? How dare you to think about to leave me? How dare you? Leave me, you are a killer. You kill my baby. Trying to broke the hug, but he tightening his grip. You are hitting on his chest, causing him, but he did not broke the hug. After a moment, you stop struggling. Do you hate me that much? He don't, did not think twice to kill my baby. Why? I know you like only wanted to marry her. You could told me to leave. I would happily free you. Why kill my baby? Why? What was fault? Cram down, Ryan. Please. Why? I never expected anything from you nor this marriage. I thought after the night everything would be fine, but nothing changed. Now I'm finding out then why you hate me that.
sometimes giving second chance that's not bad, especially to the person who really deserves. The 